Okay, RM February 2019 winter. Um, this is like a rundown of animation, what you will need for your portfolio for Sheridan if you're applying to school. Like for extras, for animation, they don't ask for a lot. Maybe about like five pieces max. But from what I see, uh, you could include life drawing, extra life drawing, and you can make prints out of them. If you don't want to show the original pieces, so you will have to get a large paper if you can. And, uh, new sprint will be the best. And just find at least like three poses with the ask for some basic poses, probably like a nude picture. Hey, you don't have to tell them it's uh, from picture. You could tell them you're doing it from life. Because you're going into animation and you're going into storytelling, so you know, it's like a liar what it is. So you get. Get in. Do what it takes, you know? So, like, I tried a couple times for Sheridan, I did not make it. I got most of two. And then I stopped trying because they were so expensive. But, so I would like to find out what my score would be. Like, eventually, I did make it into animation, like, from other schools. I turned it down because it was more 3D and I don't want to do 3D. And it was too expensive. So, like, bone studies, skeleton, or the skull. At least one of each. Full skeleton. Full drawing. Like a big paper. And you could take a picture of it if you have a camera or scan it whatever way you can a uh, layout you, you can put extra layout like room drawing or like draw a park or a pond or something like that and digital if you you're not at digital yet get something like a basic tablet and start practicing You'll have to probably invest 100 to 150 in a tablet. And a uh, portfolio case. You'll need one to put your work together. And painting option, I guess. I know Sheridan, they do some painting as well. So you could put in watercolor or you could put in acrylic. So, I'll give you some tips, like they do gouache and animation, so. You said like a, so you could go to the school and you could look at their uh, wall. They have the wall. You could see it on some uh, videos on YouTube on sure animation of the wall. Like what they do, try to figure out the wall. Like how good you have to be, that's how good you have to, your work has to be. And then decide what to put together, like layout, watercolor, life drawing, costumes even. So there's a lot of stuff you go into, but digital, you have to really be set up yourself for digital. So you need to be invested, like, at least for basic, like 200 bucks, like a tablet, but if you're doing digital on screen then you probably have to invest 900 bucks to a thousand bucks uh, you will need to show digital at least a couple pages of digital work be it digital layout or characters but I don't know, draw whatever you want like, Whatever you're drawing, superheroes, it's fine. If you're drawing characters from Disney, drawing characters from and from uh, whatever.
cartoons and draw it. Show them. Like whatever score they give you, that's what they give you. Like I'm not going to say you're going to get in for sure with this, but it might help you. Um, best uh, other tip I could give you is life drawing. It's like you only need to do a lot of life drawing. So if you can take extra light drawing or find pictures and try to draw them. If you have to be big new sprint, then you could take the photo. And this is really like a portfolio case, but you don't need one that big. Uh, I like to have like a big one because I could take uh, for our university and I work together into that. Unless you're trying for the VA program, then you might need a smaller one. Really you can get whatever supplies you need, but hopefully I'll help you get in a little bit to get your portfolio together. Because there's a lot of steps to get accepted into animation. You have to be really good at everything almost. Some things we'll have to do last minute, like storyboarding. Is every year the character changes. So probably best to look up an old, old character. Like find one from a year ago, two years ago, practice. With that character, at least uh, four frames. They'll, they'll give you a template, which you have to shrink them and put them in. So it was fun to do, but I don't know, I found it was too expensive and just too much money to do for a BA program, but if you're going that route, so hopefully this will help you out. So good luck with your portfolio for animation. I guess this is like life and tips, how to put stuff together. So a quick guide to help you out a little bit because there's not a whole lot out there on putting your portfolio together. So if you're doing digital, yeah, you have to invest into that or stop motion or something like that. But best is to get like a case. It doesn't have to be this big exactly. This is my old drawing case. If you have something smaller than this, it's fine. You'll have to show them something you can carry, or if it's a mail in, that option as well. Anyway, hopefully, I'll help you out a little bit decide what to put into your portfolio for animation for Sheridan or even for any other school for that matter Seneca, Humber schools like that alright thanks for watching